Hello everyone, it's Filip Manilov and back to White Cube Gallery. So here got a bit of a bun from Gales. This one is not so tasty chocolate babka, I don't recommend, but the cinnamon buns are really good. So we're here to see Sergei Jensen, some modern artist. He works in London, I'm pretty sure, and this is literally the last day. So we're lucky to be here. Let's go see it. These works that you see right here are actually not from Sergei Jensen and they're from a different artist. From what I understood is that these are the doors to the slaughterhouse. Also, I am aware that the sound that I'm recording right now on the voiceover is different to the one in the video, but that's how it is for now. materiality of the canvas. strip of paintings around this room. So some of these paintings give me the thought that they were painted over and as you can see on this one you see some of the background strokes that could have been different colors and there are stripes and for this one as well, but like the black one over there. And this black one, most 
makes the strokes as if they were drawn with some crayon or chalk on board and the pink one looks like there's some shadows on the ground could be a fence Yeah, I was actually incorrect about saying that he works in London, he lives and work, works in New York, quite clear. Yeah, let me know what you think about his works in the comments. I like the ones that are textured like this, they got a bit more depth to them. Yeah, I do like this black one with those stripes. And I did send an inquiry to the gallery just to find out a bit more about it. And apparently it costs eighty-five thousand dollars. And it's actually really new work. I think it must be twenty twenty four so this year I'm filming it. down a little key with all the paintings and the layout so if you're really interested about finding out what particular painting is you'll be able to do so I'll put the key yeah awesome really good stuff but basically most of them are kind of untitled from what I heard the look And it's quite interesting how it reflects in the ground as well, in, on the floor, because of the polished concrete. So it seems to me that he's employing a similar kind of technique that the Darren Alman does and I will film a little video about that later because we went to the exhibition opening and I was quite busy yeah, so it makes this super precise patches of color and then obviously he covers them when Darren Alman is not really doing that yeah okay so apparently this looks like crossing in a bubble land. This was the exhibition. That's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and leave a like, leave a comment as well. See maybe you can recommend any exhibitions in London. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.